I think there's nothing like being a dog, you know, and uh, that's the way I am, you know. I was born in the heart of town. It was a city within a city and everything. It was like, like um, uh, Dickens, London, like, you know what I mean? It had everything. I got a job in the 60s, delivering papers, selling papers in Baggage Street. So Dunahoo's would have been my round and when I got the late papers. And Sunday, I delivered the papers to the houses. And one of them was to Ronnie Drews. And uh, I loved Ronnie Drews. I loved singing. I love his stories, you know. I love what he, do, he did to, to me, you know. Like people have, you know, great idols, but I love the way he explained Dublin to me. John gave me a call to see if I would be interested in doing this job. It was John's idea to put Ronnie Drew on the back of a crane. We came down here, I think it was in February. It was a beautiful day, really wasn't warm, but it was sunny, perfect day. And John had organized a cherry picker and I plotted out the drawing on the back of the ballast, you know, worked out the composition of it and then went at it with exterior gloss paints, like, you know, oil-based paints, and it took me two days to do it. We were gobsmacked when we saw the, the crane. It looks amazing. And it, was, it wasn't that long since my dad had passed away, so it was, uh, it was lovely. It was a really lovely tribute and a really nice thing to see, you know. A few weeks later, we were working a ship and it was really sunny. And I was looking at it going in and out. And every time the sun hit it, you could see that dirty smile, you know, that Ronnie Drew smile, you know? And uh, I said, yeah, that's a great job, I said. Well, I'm proud of it, I'm very proud of it. I and mean, when people mention it to me, you know, oh, you did that crane, and you know, the Ronnie Drew, I say, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. And again, not a lot of people know that either, you know? So, it's great. I think he would have loved it. He would have seen the funny side of it, do you know what I mean? And. Uh, I think he would have uh, he would have enjoyed the fact that um, that his his image was being used on the side of something that is so synonymous with you know working class Dublin. He loved the dock area. He loved coming in here and all around, you know. So now he's keeping an eye on the whole place for us now. When that crane swings around, he sees the whole port. He can go from all the way from Hothead all the way around to Dunleary and Bray. So he has her all covered.